Welcome to Rogue Gear Reviews. I'm Mark from RV Love, and today we're talking about the Vier 450P RV air compressor. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Rogue Gear Reviews. Again, this is Mark from RV Love talking about the Vier 450P RV air compressor. So what it is, is it's an air compressor is to pump up any of your RV tires or your car tires or anything else that you need to add air to. The Vier air compressor is kind of on the higher end of portable air compressors. Uh, you can find some less expensive units, but this is a very high quality, very nice air compressor. The first couple years on the road, I had a lesser quality one. This is one that I've been aspiring to owning because I have a lot of friends who have Vier's and rave about them. So when Vier asked if we would review one for them, I was very excited to jump on that opportunity. And though I had another air compressor that was kind of getting by, I was happy to give that to someone else and have this new air compressor in. I knew it would be better, but I didn't know just how much better this product would be. Now this air compressor is runs on 12 volts, so it uses alligator clips that you would clip onto your battery bank. And if you're trying to connect that to a car's battery bank, you're going to want to have the engine running because at max load, this thing can pull up to 23 amps. Now I have a high power lithium battery bank in our coach, so I'm just going to plug it into the battery banks without starting the engine, partially so you can see how quiet this is compared to the other units but also because I just don't need to start the engine for that it kind of draws. The alligator clips and the power cord have an eight foot length to the compressor and then on the other side of the compressor you're gonna have your air hoses and this Vier 450P comes with not one but two 30 foot long coils that are for your airlines and these are really high quality coils they look like they're braided inside uh, feel very durable really nice attachments but with 30 feet of cord you can stretch this really far as you can see in this shot right here this is just the one of the two 30 foot cords if i was to connect two of these i'm going to have over 60 feet from my battery between the eight foot power cord and the 60 feet of airline also included in the kit are replacement air filters replace these air filters and put a clean one in so you always have really good air coming into that air compressor it's really simple to replace that you just screw off the end here and swap them out. This air compressor can pump up to pressures up to 150 PSI and it pumps at a rate of 1.8 cubic feet per minute. Some people really like the 400 model instead of the 450. The 400 can run I think at 2.3 cubic feet per minute instead of the 1.8 on this 450 but the 400 model can't run as long as this 450. The 450 can run up to 40 minutes continuously. Actually that brings up one of the cool features is that it has an automatic shutoff so it won't just run consistently. If you're pumping up multiple tires and you're switching from tire to tire, when it has built up enough pressure it shuts itself off in between tire changes. There, just shut off. Because I'm not expending any air, it doesn't need to keep running, it's up to its maximum pressure. Which is good for a couple reasons. One, it doesn't run the compressor consistently all the time, but two, it makes it a lot easier to connect the attachment to your other tire when it's not trying to have free-flowing air. Speaking of attachments, uh, it does have some really nice high-quality attachments. This is the one I use the most. And with this attachment, you can push it onto a valve stem or pull it onto a valve stem the other direction. This is especially important if you run dual, tire, dual rear tires on a dually or on a larger RV. One of the other attachments, it has a gun with a trigger and a gauge, and the gauge is actually pretty accurate. You can actually plug this attachment right into it. Just pull back the quick release and it attaches right to it. And this is really a nice and handy way to attach it and see how you're inflating. I use this feature to pump up the tires on an old trailer that had been out in storage for an extended period of time. And it was really nice to just watch that gauge climb right up because those tires had under 10 pounds of pressure on them. It was great to just watch that gauge climb up to right where I need it and pop it right off. Pumped up all four tires in just a few minutes and was on the road. Now that 1.8 cubic feet per minute that is when you're at zero PSI. 
When you get up to pressures like 130 PSI, it's going to be more like 0.8 cubic feet per minute uh, as the rate slows down as it's getting to those higher and higher pressures. But this pump can go all the way up to 150 PSI, which is a big deal because a lot of these larger motorhomes have tires that need to be inflated up to 130 and sometimes even higher pressures. If you have a vehicle that only needs to run 40 PSI in it, this will make very quick work of that. Uh, but these a lesser quality air compressor can't effectively pump up to this high pressures required on some of these motorhomes. In fact, the old compressor I had, it said it could go to 120 PSI, but when you'd plug it in and start plug it, trying to pump up a tire, it would say it was at 120 PSI and maxing out and it blow fuses, but it was actually only 100 PSI because the gauge was wrong. So it wasn't a true 120 PSI that it was trying to pump up to. This is a much more robust unit, and so I believe it could go all the way up there. I don't have a tire that can handle that kind of pressure, so I haven't been able to test that max capacity, but I firmly believe it'll do it. So I love that this attachment allows me to attach to either one of the valve stems in here. I can reach back behind here and come at it from behind, which is a very difficult angle for the other compressors I've seen. And for this other one back here, I can just go straight on it forward. Really so much easier to use than other ones I've seen. This alone, the simplicity of being able to pump up the tires is really valuable to me. I can definitely tell the amount of quality in this product versus other air compressors I've had experience with. It's definitely heavier. Uh, but the, all the components are much higher quality. The air hoses are braided lines. They have really nice fittings and attachments. The unit itself is heavier, but it has nice quality foam grips and a nice diamond plate bottom. And it's so much quieter than other ones I've experienced. It has an inline fuse, should you ever overload it and pop that fuse. Even the canvas bag that it comes in is a nice quality canvas bag and it has storage on either side to store the hoses. And then inside it, you can store the main compressor itself, the alligator clips, and any of your other attachments that you use for inflating your tires. This unit is about 18 pounds when it's in the canvas bag, and it's about 13 pounds for the compressor by itself. It's about 11 inches by seven and a half inches by six inches in size. So it's definitely a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger, but Man, can this thing pump out some air. Now I can show you here, I can compare the two units side by side with my old one that I used to have and my new Vire. All right, for a sound comparison. You can clearly see the difference in the noise level when you're operating this. And that's important to me because a lot of the time when I'm trying to air up my tires, it's in the morning when I'm getting ready to leave the campground and I'm trying not to be disruptive to any of my neighbors. Now on the box when we got our 450p RV, it says that it can pump tires up to 37 inches, but if you go to the website, it'll say that it can pump up to 42 inch tires, so quite a bit larger than what the box says. So they must have done additional testing or something to show that it has higher ratings. Now as far as the cost of this buy air, you probably see some knockoff units or some inexpensive ones uh, at a store for under 100 bucks. I believe the 400 can sometimes be found for under 200. This 450p normally retails for around 329. At the time of filming this video, I believe it's on Amazon for 289 on sale. So it's definitely on a really good sale right now. It's definitely on the higher end, and you might be wondering, well, is it really worth that extra money? And that was part of the debate for me because I hear people rave about them all the time, but I hadn't had the personal experience with it. But now that I have, I can say to me, it's absolutely worth the money. The convenience of working with this and how much more enjoyable it is, more powerful, faster, and less noise, I just think this is so much better. All the attachments are so much easier to use too. My old compressor, I literally could not pump up the tires on my current motorhome because of the way the valve stems are. And so that was actually really concerning to me. But this new one, with the way the valve attachment is, 
going, you can go forward or back against that valve stem. This makes it super easy to attach and super easy to inflate so much quicker and easier than the old one I had. If I can't properly inflate my tires, then I'm not gonna be able to run my tires at the optimal pressure. And that's very important for ride quality and the lifespan of your tires. Tires on RVs are very important. They get put under a lot of strain and stress. You wanna have them at the optimal pressures at all times. All right, well that will wrap up my review on the Vier 450P RV air compressor. Really great product. I think it's totally worth the money especially if you're going to be spending extended travel and you're going to be checking a lot of tires on an RV. You know, with a big coach like ours which has six tires of its own that all run high pressures, plus our tow vehicle, uh, plus bikes, and plus being around in campgrounds, being able to help other people. I really like having a high quality compressor. I'm really excited to finally have a Vier. We'll of course put links to this product in the description below. We'll also put a link for the 400 below in case you're more interested in that version. If you have any questions about the Vier, please leave those down below. If you have any other suggestions of products you'd like to see us review here on Road Gear Reviews, please leave those down in the comments below as well. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Be sure to check back every week for new videos from Road Gear Reviews. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.